Hello, my name is Shannon Davidson. I'm with CoSmith Tools and today we'll be going over debugging with CoSmith. CoSmith supports debugging by using the CLR's just-in-time debugger. Before we get into debugging, if you're using a Windows 7 or Vista system, we need to check some registry entries. If you're using a 32-bit system, we need to make sure the HKEY Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, .NET Framework, DBG JIT Debug Launch Setting is set to 2. If you're using a 64-bit system, we need to make sure the HKEY Local Machine, Software, WOW6432 node, Microsoft, .NET Framework, DBG JIT Debug Launch Setting is set to 2. So now, let's look at debugging with CodeSmith. I've created a simple template with one method in the template and one method in the code behind. And it outputs a list of columns based on the results of this method. So to debug this template, the first thing I need to do is set the debug attribute to true on the code template directive. In order to get the debugger to load, I need to enter the debugger.break statement into this method. Okay, now I'm going to execute the template. Once I execute the template, I'm prompted to launch the just-in-time debugger. So now that the debugger is launched, I'm sitting at the break statement, and I can step through the template. I can examine variables, add variables to the watch, anything you can normally do using the Visual Studio debugger. So once I'm done debugging, I can hit F5, execution of the template completes, and you can see the output here. So now I want to debug in the code behind. So I'm going to move the debugger.break statement to the code behind. When debugging in a code behind or any included class, I'll need to add the system.diagnostics namespace. So now I'm going to compile the template. I'm going to run the template. And I'm back into the debugger. This time the execution stops in the code behind where I set the debugger.break statement. Now I can step through the code in the code behind. Once I'm done debugging in the code behind, I hit F5. Template execution completes. Well, this has been a quick look at debugging with CodeSmith. If you have any comments, questions, or concern, please send us a note at sales at codesmithtools.com. I'm Shannon Davidson. Thank you for using CodeSmith.